Memory is a funny thing. I have found that the absolute hardest thing in the world to remember is the truth. It is so easy for the truth to slip away and for memory to play with your past like building blocks, breaking it apart and rebuilding it, but nicer, cleaner, better. Suddenly, your past is fiction. That's what makes this one night in my memory so weird. I can remember every detail, clear as day. Hello, Cerberus. This dog is here every day waiting for his master. Such a faithful dog to wait so patiently. Good boy. Now, the memory I can't shake isn't actually from tonight, it's from two weeks from now. We'll get there. I never get tired of this place. Sure, it's old and dank and literally underground in the textbook example of a fire hazard, but I love this building and WDIS more than words can say. A lot of good memories here. We met doing the night shift together. Until 3 a.m., this station was ours. She's abroad now, somewhere warm. Six months until she comes back to me. So now I do this alone. Now, you're probably wondering why we're starting two weeks before the story. We'll get there. I'm a woman of my word. I remember the second that clock hit 10.03, he walked in. His shirt wasn't that ugly. That's closer. He had a jacket though. Yeah, the jacket was that hideous. And he brought his guitar, a musician. Who are you? I always imagine the radio bigger. Do you need something? I need to play my song. I hear the shitty cafe next door has an open mic night. On the radio? No. I just need I to- I never do live broadcasts. They're too risky and Besides, we don't have a studio for you to play in. What's that? Well, fuck me, right? I'll go set up. Okay. No, you won't. You have to leave. What about my song? I don't have anything for you. Look, I'll just- Leave my studio. That was the first time I saw him. Far from the last. Three nights later, I'm working my shift, and no later than 10.03. That's when he wore that shirt. What are you doing here? I was working on my song. I'm not going to play your song. Why? Because I don't know you or what you'll do, or how you got it. How did you get in here? I need to play my song. I need you to leave, now. I'll be back. She needs to hear my song. I, I need to find her. Now that's the kind of phrase that sticks with you. I need to find her. As promised, he came back the next night. And the night after that. 
and the night after that. And every night for the rest of that week, the same, I need to find her, she has to hear my song. Like some sad lost puppy with an ugly shirt collection. Night after night, and all the while, the phrase, I need to find her, eating at my brain. Finally, I changed my tune. All right, that's enough. I, need to I know, you need to find her. Fine. You'll let me on the radio? I'll strike a deal with you. Okay. You get on the radio, I let you play for five minutes, no more, and then you leave, and you never come back. Do we have a deal? I... Uh, if you come back here, I will call the police on your ass so hard for trespassing. You play, you leave, and then you do not look back. End of story. Do we have a deal? Now, I know what you're thinking. I'm a saint, but I was willing to do anything to get him to leave. Excuse me. No swearing on the mic. The FCC's a bunch of little- I'm ready to play. When this song ends, your five minutes begins. Make it count. Well, would you look at that? It's been two weeks. That means something interesting should happen. Now here we are at last. The night I cannot forget. Is he here? How do you people get in here? H have you seen my brother? You mean that guy? Oh, thank God. I I'm so sorry. Hey, bro. Time to go home. I need to play my song. I, I know, dude. But it's time to go. I'll go get him. Thanks. Wait, I can't believe I did this either. You know, he's been visiting me here almost every night for the past two weeks. Uh, I'm clearly, so sorry he about has that. something to say. Besides, uh, we made a deal, and I'm a woman of my word, so let him sing. Really? Are you sure? Well, I don't have much of a choice now, do I? Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have a special treat. Let's hope. Our next song is coming to you live from the WDIS studio. Thanks. I'm Jason. Charmed. He's been going out at night for weeks. I wanted to see where he's been. So what's his deal? He comes here every night for two weeks and he's saying things like, I have to find her, she needs to hear my song, is there a missing person or? It's his wife. She died. They married young. He loved her and she loved his music. He started writing this song for her when she got sick. She never got to hear it. Something in him cracked, and this song just consumed him. What's it called? Eurydice. It's a pretty name. Hers. He 
he's just been waiting for. Her. Marry me <laughs> I think he feels like this song is gonna bring him closer to her, maybe even bring her back. Who knows? That was Eurydice, performed live by... What's your name? Uh, Orpheus. By Orpheus in his radio debut. Stay tuned here for more music. Right here. Thanks again. I'll go grab him. I'd like to believe I would have let him play sooner if I had known his reason. I'd like to believe that. We had a deal. I'm a man of my word. This was the night I can't forget. I don't know what it was about that singer that makes me remember that night so immaculately, but what I'm telling you is the truth. Clear as day. Stayed in the studio all night that night. When I came out, who should be there to greet me but man's best friend, newly tied to his post and patiently waiting for his master. I can relate to that dog. People can relate to that dog, tied up and waiting for someone we love to come back for us. Maybe that's why I can't forget that night in the station. Orpheus is just like that dog, waiting for somebody to come back, tied up where he can't follow, forced to sit, stay, hope they'll return. Just like Cerberus, just like me. At least she's coming back to me. Just not soon enough. <laughs>